Hey, good morning. So last time I was using my leaf blower, I noticed that the primer bulb was cracked. And so that's what I'll be doing today is replacing it with a new one. And I'd like to show you how to do it in case you ever run across that problem and you need to fix it yourself. So come on, let's go see. So this is my leaf blower. It is a Hitachi purifier. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but here is where the primer bulb Right here is the primer bulb, and let me see if I could show you when you pushed it. <laughs> Did you see that gas cord out of there? Yeah, look, it's got a hole. It's got a little hole in it right so there. So what I've noticed with any yard implement that has a primer bulb, that's one of the main things to, to break it. And sometimes you don't notice because when you go to prime it, you cover the hole with your finger or thumb and then it doesn't, it keeps it closed and, and nothing happens. So you don't realize that there's a crack in it for a while. And, uh, but your implement may run rough uh, because it's not getting the right uh, vacuum pulled in because it's drawing air through that crack or hole in that primer bulb. So the primer bulb is usually the first thing I check when I'm uh, fixing these kind of implements. So let's get to fixing this one. So the first thing you do is to remove this little intake cover. It's just got a little slot. You just push it down and pull the top. I know on this one it does, different ones are different, but they're usually about the same. So set that aside, don't lose it. And this is the little air filter around here. You could pull that out and clean it up. It's good to protect that as well. And this right here goes directly into the carburetor. So what we're gonna do we need to remove this little plastic spacer here, and it looks like it takes a Phillips head screwdriver. Oh, look at how easy that opens. Also got a couple of uh, different kind of primer bulbs, just to make sure I got the right one. They. Uh, there's usually two different kinds. One of them has a little ring around it and the other is just the bulb itself. One is like a complete assembly and, the, and so we need to see which kind this one uses. So we'll remove these two, uh, these two screws. They are kind of long because they hold the same screws are what hold this uh, spacer on. They also hold the carburetor on. So that's one thing you have to be a little careful about when you're removing those, but nothing to be scared of. <clears throat> so we're gonna remove these screws and then you gotta be careful because because they're holding the carburetor in, they're also holding the carburetor gasket in, and that's uh, what did Lucy ready tell you? They're holding the carburetor in, but they're also holding the little gasket that goes between the the carburetor and the the motor. So you don't want to lose that or or tear it, or you'll have to replace that as well. Now you gently pry this off watching. So I want to make sure that you can see this good. But once you pry this off, there's a little gasket back here. Well, it fell down. Let's see, that goes, the two screws go through here, and this is the center hole right there. So set that aside somewhere careful. And um, be as careful as you can not to get any, any dirt or debris in that hole. So, now. 
The reason we have to remove these screws is because there's a little uh, clip in the back of the primer bulb that you have to squeeze to get it out of here. Now, remember which way it went. Now you see behind here, these are the two. Okay, and here's something that I'm thinking that you may be thinking too, so I want to show it to you right now, is why can't I just come in here, instead of removing all of this, why can't I just come in here with a flathead screwdriver? But you see how that looks? There's no way of pushing a screwdriver back behind there to undo any clips. You guys see under here? See those two hoses, two tubes? That's the fuel. And see, see those, this little tab, and then there's one on the bottom. And you squeeze those together, and that's how you remove the primer bulb. So you squeeze those, and then it just comes out the front. So I'll squeeze these together. And at the same time, I'll push out. There, see it came out? It came out right here. What we'll do is we'll pull out this hose. So there's one hose, uh, you can't really see from this angle, but it goes into the fuel tank. And then it comes up to the primer bulb. That's the jaw part of it. And then this clear hose goes into the carburetor. So we'll remove those from the broken primer bulb. And that's another place that sometimes uh, cracks up occur if you have old... <laughs> See that primer bulb go flying that way? These lines can go bad too. They can get uh, hard and brittle and crack. And so, uh, so you could check your line. If it looks good, great. I mean, this machine is only a couple years old, so it's fine. Uh, but if, if not, you need to replace them. It's simple. It's just, you know, clip as much as you need. They sell it at uh, any, you know, parts store, wherever. And you just uh, cut the, the length you need and push it up into the little tubing. That's no problem at all. Let me run, go grab this primer bulb that blew under here so I could show you the, the old one, what it looks like. It went way under there. Use some kind of stick and get that out of there. So this is what it looks like. It's got the two tubes on the back and, and the bulb there. Let me go uh, discard this little bit of gas in the container in the back. There are two tubes on here. And the way to tell which one goes to which is one of them sucks the fuel out of the tank and the other one pushes it in two. So if you could feel, one of them will blow. Mm -hmm. I can see little bubbles coming out this longer one. So that's the one that will go into the, the carburetor. But we should check on the new one. You know, it could be backwards or whatever. So let's get a new one. So it looks like the one in this kit is the one that's going to work. It looks like it comes with a couple different uh, bulbs. It comes with the ones for the type that's that you have to put the ring around it and then it comes with the little complete assembly as well.
So compare the two. They are the same. And so let's see if I could feel. Yep, see? The smaller one, it sucks. So you push, you can feel. See how it's fixed to my finger? And so this one here would blow. So it's the same. The longer one goes into the carburetor hole and the shorter one goes into the gas tank. <laughs> it's starting to rain, so I gotta move a little bit. So replacing, it uh, works the same way. You take the new one and you'll put it uh, through from the front to the back. You could see there's, uh, see how it's shaped? You could see exactly where the little clips go in. So the way to install the, it into is to, pre is to line it up really good. You could see, and then you just push it straight and push it really hard but it has to be t there and it has to be totally straight up and down if you're tipping it one way it's not going to work so make sure it's exactly straight and then push it in and now remember this uh the longer one blows and so it, you plug it into the carburetor the longer one it goes here <laughs> So see, see what I did? I wasn't thinking that there would be a difference, but because the carburetor hole is on this side, I'm just gonna remove this and turn it. Uh, I'm gonna remove it and flip it around this way. So when I put it, so this way, now it's directly where it needs to be and the lines don't have to cross. So push it down tightly, snug onto, make sure the hose is all the way down and then we'll do the same for the other side. go and then we'll put it all back together and remember the gasket that goes between the carburetor remember it was this side down and put the other bolt on line up, line up the gasket So once you get the screws in, tighten them. And then let's try it out.
So I wonder if I got it backwards. That's what I'm thinking is that what it looks like when I look down in this tube. The gas tank is that the, the short tube goes uh, just into the in, into the gas tank and so that is the excess gas gets uh, dropped back in the tank it gets sucked through enough goes through the carburetor to make the engine run but the rest goes back in the tank so I guess so maybe the when I was feeling which one sucked and which one blow maybe it um it looks like the way that this one is run this tube goes up so it goes into the carburetor, maybe it goes through the carburetor, and then this clear tube that's hooked to the carburetor that I was thinking that this pumped into the carburetor, really it pumps in over here on this side and comes around and then it exits over here. So let's switch these two tubes up and see if we can get a prime on this. Attach this one to the short hole. This one to the long hole. I think that's what our problem was. So it looks like the short one goes um, and the clear tube that looks like it goes to the carburetor and the one that looks like it goes to the gas tank is uh, is the long, the long one, the one that blows, goes to the gas tank. And I remember that gasket in the back. And if this gasket uh, rips or breaks, then you will have to replace it. You see how these holes are really close to the end. So if that if that breaks, then then it's going to leak gas. Now let's tighten these and see see if it primes this time. It's filling up with gas. It's slow. Well, now what's wrong? I see there's a kink in the in the tube. We just had to position the the, uh, the tube right so that so it wasn't kinked, and looks like it was working great. So now we'll put the so we'll put the air filter back on. Try to clean it off if you can. Snap it back on. And there we go. Let's see if it cranks.
yep, and there you have it. Good as new. I just noticed this morning when I came out that there was dirt over there and I thought, well, I had it running. This would be a perfect opportunity to blow it off. So we got it running and, um, and it's, it wasn't the big job. I mean, the toughest part was just uh, getting the screws back through without that uh, gasket kept falling down. So yeah, it's not a big deal. If, uh, if it ever happens, you know you'll be able to do it yourself. Because you know, if, uh, if I can do it, so can you. Uh, thanks for watching. Remember, hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, then uh, hit the thumbs up. And I think I got to get to some blowing off the sidewalks and stuff. So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. <laughs> bye bye. So the first thing to do is to remove this little uh, intake cover. Well, you're not supposed to break it. I mean, the hardest part was what, besides trying to fit that gasket in there, was trying to figure out whether to suck or to blow.